Yo, what's up everybody and happy National Camera Day. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jason Anthony. I'm a full-time content creator and on this channel, I like to teach you guys how to step up your content creating skills. For today's video, we have an Adobe Premiere tutorial on how to speed ramp and frame block. A bunch of you guys have been asking me in the comments of my videos if I can make one. So I'm gonna do a beginner tutorial today. We'll go step by step on how I like to set up my camera, how I like to shoot the footage, and then how I like to edit in post. So we'll dive in shortly into Adobe Premiere and get that tutorial started. But first off, I want you guys to tag me in your National Camera Day photos on Instagram. I'll put my link in the description so you guys could check out my flat lay and then tag me in your pictures if you're posting anything. I've been seeing a lot of people posting some cool pictures. So I just wanna be a part of that with you guys. So when it comes to speed ramping and frame blocking, the first thing I like to do is shoot in slow motion. So whether it's 60 frames a second or 120 frames per second, those two are very important. You wanna be able to manipulate the speed. So whether it's speeding it up or slowing it down, you wanna be able to have that option for your footage. So when it comes to frame blocking, you want to always have your camera and you wanna move past the subject and I'll show you guys an example right up on the screen right now of an object going from completely through the camera and this way what we do is on that negative space to either whichever side we want to use we're gonna frame block that out and this way our next clip is gonna show on that side so we do need a full pass of an object now when it comes to speed ramping our settings once again are going to be slow motion so it's going to be 60 frames or 120 frames per second this way we could speed it up or slow it down for today's tutorial on speed ramping i'm going to do a single clip on how i go from real time to super slow motion with some ramping and then back into real time you guys will really like it and then in the future i'll make some more tutorials on how to speed ramp from one clip into another and making it look very seamless and really nice and smooth so let's waste no more time let's dive into the computer if you guys do not have adobe premiere i'll link in the description below to some final cut tutorials for you guys this way if you can't follow along here you can pull up these tutorials from other creators that i recommend so let's go ahead and check it out all right so let's go over how to frame block for this type of transition you can record it in 60 frames 120 frames just remember if you're doing slow motion frame blocking it's going to expand the clips so you're going to be blocking a lot more frames and you'll see what i mean in a minute so what we're doing right now is we have our two clips right here as i mentioned when we're doing frame blocking you do need to pull the camera behind something so we're walking right here and notice the bar is moving across the screen a couple times that's the perfect time to have a frame blocking transition you just want to make sure you entirely pass by the object so right here we're just going to key over and find the part where we first see the negative space on the right hand side of this pole so we have it right here and all we need to do is make sure we're selected with our editing tab on the top edit controls on the left hand side and now we're going to click the free draw bezier tool essentially it's just a pen and what we're going to do is put a mark in the area that we want to cover so we have this spot right here but our footage is gone all we have to do is go over to invert and now we're just blocking out the negative space now with these tabs right here you can select them and you could drag them anywhere you want and I like to add a little bit of a feather. So we're just gonna make sure this, and now this tool right here changes the curvature. I leave it perfectly straight if the object is straight. So we just wanna make sure that we're blocking out everything entirely. Then we'll go back and select these keyframes, all four of them, and also make sure you hit track select and mask forward one frame. So every frame that we're going to be moving now needs to be blocked. OK, 
Okay, so that looks good. And now we're gonna go over to the right one frame and now we need to block off this negative space. We're gonna click on mask and just drag this back over. And now we just gotta line it up. Doesn't have to be perfect because it's a it's I'm playing this in real time. I'm not going to slow it down for frame blocking for me. I like it in real time. So we're just covering up the space. Now we're gonna go over to the right one more. Pull this over. Like that. Right there. Click on the playhead again frame over to the right and we're going to do this the entire frame until this screen is completely blocked out so boom go over to the right get that little edge right there and then one more to finish it off and we're done well almost okay so if we go back to the beginning of the clip scrolling by she goes past the first one and now boom we're done with this part now all we have to do is drag this clip up to v2 and now take our second clip which is this right here her putting on the band and right when it starts to block out which will be like right here i'm just going to drag this underneath and now if we tab over we have everything passing through seamlessly. So we're going to go back, play it for you. And boom, we're done. Looked very clean. Now you can, in the future, as you get more experienced, you can add some motion blur. You could slow it down, speed it up. But I want to keep this very basic for you guys. I don't want to overwhelm you with today's tutorial. So that's how we frame block. It's really simple. Just make sure that you have some sort of object passing completely in front of the camera from one side to the next. This way we can get that negative space out and put our next clip in. So let me render this clip out and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Okay, so now that we wrapped up frame blocking, let's get into speed ramping on a single clip. First thing I want to do is make sure that my footage was shot in 60 frames per second or higher. So 60, 90, 120. I'm always shooting my B-roll in 120 so I can manipulate the speed as I like. So the first thing I do is I always drag and expand my footage right here by clicking on this making sure that we can have a little bit more real estate to work with. Then we're gonna go to the effects right here. On a Mac, you're gonna double finger click on a PC, right click and go down to time remapping and hit speed. What that'll do is essentially give us this bar right here where we can drag it up really high and make the footage faster. Or we could just drag it down to about 20% to get the slowest slow motion and make it slower. Pretty straightforward, right? So let's reset this back to 100. And now we're gonna select the point in which we want the speed ramping to start. So we're gonna go from full speed to slow motion right here, right as he kicks up. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit the P key for my pen tool and then select the line right here. Then hit V so we're back to our regular arrow. And what we can do now is drag the right side down to however much you want to slow it down. So if we start it from the beginning again, it goes from uh, real time to slow motion. Looks pretty good, but there's a hard, there's no real smoothness from one to the next. So what we can do is click right here and drag it out. Now this is creating the ramping feature right here. So now it's going to be a little bit easing into the slow motion, but there's another thing we can do. If we click on one of the playheads, we can drag this bar right here, which creates almost like an S curve and that'll smooth in the ramping even more. If we play it back, 
nice and smooth. That's how you want to do it. I mean, you can do the harsh, you know, real time to slow motion, but I like the ramping. And now we want to just get him back to full speed as he's kicking out. So right here, I'm going to hit P again for my pen tool. I'm going to select the bar. We're going to hit the V for our arrow. And now we're going to just drag it back up to 100%. With 100% selected, if we play it back, we're going from slow motion to full speed. But if we want to make it a little bit smooth, pull out the playhead and ramp that S curve. And now it's gonna look something like this. Now, if you want to be a little bit shorter, you can pull back on the ramp head, play it back. So you could just have fun with it. So let me render out this clip and I'll show you guys what this footage looks like. So that wraps up today's tutorial, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it, if you wanna see more tutorials. I really am working hard to grow this channel and I love engaging with you guys. So I always look forward to seeing your comments and also reach out to me on Instagram. If there's any type of videos, reviews, tutorials that you wanna see, DM me on Instagram. Shout out to you guys that I've been talking to. You guys are all awesome and I love the support. Until next time, guys, enjoy your weekend. I'm Jason Anthony, peace. Bye.